what's going on guys welcome back to another new video and in this video we're doing a reaction video to our favorite host of the philippines rafi tulfo so we're going to be doing a reaction on a rafi tulfo in action uh youtube channel so anyways the story in this is that a filipina scammed an american radio dj that i guess is pretty famous locally in the united states of america and he just wants to know why. And at the same time is maybe have a revenge. And at the same time is get some closure. Let's get started. Okay, guys, if you haven't stopped by our website, philippinesjourney.com, take a look at our merchandise store. We got some cool shirts over there. And if you guys want, buy me some coffee to support this channel, or you can go ahead and purchase me some beer. But if you don't do any of that, it's perfectly fine. All I ask is you guys do one thing for me, and that is to comment, like, and subscribe. Maybe send me some information if you have certain things that you want me to react to. I totally appreciate that. Let's get into this video right away um so like i said radio dj from america got scammed by a filipina and he wants some answers and some closure so let's go ahead and take a look at this video and react to it with rafi tulfo is uh complaining about her ex okay. girlfriend which is Pinay uh, that he met online online social okay through social media right and, and he okay. wants to marry this uh, Pinay uh -huh. uh, but unfortunately this Pinay cheated on him oh okay so and is it safe Pinay to say that this Pinay is a scammer yes he was scammed yes. he was scammed by this Pinay and this Filipina girl has a new boyfriend and the new boyfriend is a Policeman. Yes, Idol Rafi. A oh, policeman. Okay. Time, time for <laughs> some. <laughs> time for some bloody noses. Mr. Perry Berkeley is a disc jockey in uh, Washington D.C. He is a well-known, renowned disc jockey and broadcaster in Washington. Good morning. Or what time is it in Washington? Now? Those pictures are like what? Twenty years ago. <laughs> uh, Sir Perry. It's it's one a.m. Oh, good it's morning. Dark. It's 1 a.m. Yes, good morning. How's the weather nice in Washington? It's okay. It's cold. It's cold. And uh, we had some snow, but it's all melted. It's it's kind of cold here. Oh, that's good. And and I know you can manage because the way you, you, you look right now, it seems like you're okay and you're not cold and you're kind of warm. No, well, I'm in the car. So Oh, uh, you're inside your car. So okay. Me... All right. Now, sir, can you talk to us and let us know about your complaint against your ex-girlfriend, Myrene Relampago? Okay, so first of all, we, we didn't meet online. It wasn't like a dating site. I met her as a listener of my radio program when okay. she was working in, in Kuwait. Kuwait. And she, she wrote to me, and so we started a relationship, and it developed and progressed, and then we started to make plans uh, for the future, which included marriage and children. And I was coming to visit her, and so we also talked about uh, making a house, a home that we could have uh, there. And so she didn't have much money, okay. and so she asked me, you know, well, I, I helped her, you know, and, and I sent a lot of money to her. And then, you know, her family and her sister asked me to borrow money, and it just, it was money, money, money. And, uh, oh, you know, okay. I, Money, money, I, money, I money, money, money. Before I met her, or she had a boyfriend that she cheated on. Uh, and apparently she had slept with the dean of the college to get a reduced college rate or free college. Oh. Gotta do what you gotta do. But here's the thing, guys. Remember. Remember the red flags. She's cheated on someone already. And he knows this. She slept with the dean to get a reduced college tuition he knows this also so they've talked about this so you have to understand this guy's like oh my god she is a sexual promiscuous girl i like that 
But she's living in Kuwait now, right? So that means she's graduated. And once again, asking for money, 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 and he keeps sending, talking about a house. Family's asking for money. Guys, don't go for no poor Filipina. Okay. So she cheated on that boyfriend, but she told me she's changed, she's different, um, and so, but I found out later that uh, she's not different, that she used me. Okay. Um, she broke my heart. I spent a lot of money. I bought a ring. I was going to fly there and okay. see her, and, you know, we were planning to get married and have children. And uh, so I'm just, I was devastated when I found out that I had actually been lied to. But Oh my goodness, he's devastated that he has been lied to, that the Filipina was a sinungaling to him. You haven't seen her yet. You guys been... She reached out to you. Hmm. Once again, all of these guys who keeps on talking the ish that the females always approach them. These are the type again. So some of you guys who likes to puff your chest in the comment section that women approach you. No, it's not because you're this cool dude. You're this person that they look at. They look at you as a potential mark. So if you're still thinking, oh, these girls approaches me. No, they look at you as an easy mark. So please stop thinking that you're all special you never met in person yet no we never met in person okay. and so i was i was hoping to meet her in person i was planning to come there um you know she gave me a very hard time about it and like she kept on saying you could come if you so let, let's let's just go at this right let, let's just let's just you know while i'm trying to skip this commercial they never met Another red flag. Guys, see, this dude's probably making decent money as a as a radio host and everything like that. You know, meetings. You even saw a picture with him with Taylor Swift. Ooh, Taylor Swift. But this is the thing, gentlemen. It's like always a continuous story. Yet there's still guys that will try to fight the whole system and say, it's okay that I sent money to a Filipina. It's okay because she still met me. Don't you understand the long scam, the quick scam? When a relationship is created because you purchased a prostitute. That's right, gentlemen. If you went ahead and gave money before you saw your woman, before she met you, she's just a prostitute. She's a bok bok. She's a street walker. She is a um, freelancer. You can even call it she's a sugar baby. But in the end, it's the oldest, oldest profession in the world. And gentlemen needs to realize the truth. So no matter what, if you married that bok bok, please look at her next time. When you wake up and understand that that's what she is. A freaking bok bok. And if she did it with you, she did it with other men too. And if she didn't, she still planned it out for you. She wanted to. Okay. And I would tell her, no, I can't because the airports are closed because of COVID. They're not letting U.S. citizens into your country. So right. she would keep on telling me, oh, no, you can come if you want. You can come if you want. Okay. So, you know, she has her own mind and her own mind made up and some thoughts that were not really factual. Sir, right yeah, in front no of me, factual. I can see a lot of bank transfers. And these are a lot of money. $150, $110. Oh, look at that. Hold on. Hold on. Let's, let's do some, some mathematics here. Mathematics. That's 1100 1600 $1,250. Let's see, so that's eleven hundred, sixteen hundred, twenty-two fifty now. So we're at twenty-two fifty. And look at the separations and the dates, guys. June eighteen, May twenty-third, May fourteen, 
May 9, this dude was sending money literally every week. Every week. So we're at 2250 now. And it goes on and on 500 US dollars. 3250. How did this happen? Did you ask? 4250. For it, or did you say? I mean, just, just within two months' period of time, he sent her over $4,200. Gotta, gotta put out all the freaking stops on the damn sound bar here. Hey, uh, I want to borrow money from you. How, how was she able no. to, to convince you to it send money never, like this to her? It, it was never a borrow situation. I was always, I was trying to take care of her okay. under the assumption that this was going to be our house and she was going to be my wife. That's what the assumption was. That's Why the F are you buying a freaking house right away? You haven't met the girl. D guys, what the F? You get rid, you don't want the damn women in your country, yet then all of a sudden, you do the complete, say, you know, opposite. That's what I was led to believe. So I don't have a problem. You were not led to believe. going to be my wife. He I have a good he income. Created uh, in his mind. I didn't have a problem with that. But I was deceived. Uh, no, you're and, not. You know, I, I ended up having to pay all of her bills. She oh. would send me a you know message saying my electric bill is this. My cell phone bill is this. The food bill is this. Uh, um, so I was paying all kinds of bills. Then her, then she'd say, "My father's sick. I need money for medicine for my father." Uh, you know, it was constant. This woman went the whole. She took the whole playbook of scamming. My father is sick. My electricity is about to die, so I'm not gonna be able to see the light. Oh, good lord! Money, 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 money. She needed money for something. Okay. And uh, so, you know, it was a very difficult situation. I spent a lot of money, which I didn't mind, like I say, until I found out that she had been dishonest with me. She See, this is the thing, because you're hoping to get the action later on. Guys, don't give money before this. Don't. You know, guys, it's fucking crazy. All right. This is some crazy stuff. And this is going on daily. Just, just, just look when I come up with like a very good when I when I put a very um a, a video that's a little bit challenging. You start seeing the guys trying to puff their chest that it's okay to do this. It's okay for single mothers for that. Come on. He even told me she had been talking to this guy, okay. you know, for a while, and he, he understands her, and so on and so forth. So, oh, okay. now she's doing the jealousy routine. I don't know. Idol, add to cart. Idol shopping network. Get it on Google Play. All these monies on many different occasions, and we're talking about by the thousands of pesos, if, if you convert these Thousands dollars of dollars? Pesos, and yep. I would assume this would reach up to a half a million pesos in our money. Yes. But but didn't it? Occur That's the ten thousand dollars, gentlemen. These monies that she might be scamming you already. That's no, right. No, it didn't. Um, she must be a wonderfully talented actress. No, she was not a wonderful talented actress. You were just a wonderfully idiot of a man. Guys, this is why, you know, if, I hate to say it, guys. Listen, look, 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 look. This, can, this might be controversial. But what is up with our old dudes, man? What happened to our fathers and grandfathers, man? Yeah, I'm talking to you 50, 60, 70-year-old guys. What the F happened to you guys? You guys were the greatest men of, you know, greatest generation, right? You know, you guys were born in the greatest generation and stuff like that. But what is it that majority of these men, 50, 60, 70 year olds. Now, mind you, there's some young guys that get 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 duped as well. Right. But what is up with this? I mean, you know, you have you when, when, when we make these videos about younger guys. Now, I'm considering the old range because I'm 43. I'm about to turn 44. So I'm part of the old, I'm part of you guys now. Right. I've been the past three years. It's funny when we say who do Filipina, when we make a video, who would a Filipina choose, the young or the old? And the old dudes are like puffing their chest. That's right. They want us older gentlemen because, you know, we're, we're good with our money. You know, we're, we're, we're leaders. We're, 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 you know, we know what women want. Apparently you don't because the majority of the scam dudes are the 50, 60, and 70-year-olds. 
Some of you guys might get mad at me for this, but it is the truth. You guys are getting scammed left and right. But fine. In general, men, all ages, getting scammed. We'll just say that now for just, just for the hell of it. But still, why would you give money up front? Why? Why would you? Oh, for this type of pinai, right? For this one right here. Kilai is life. Some people have told me, you know, use the term gold digger. Mm -hmm. But she uh, took you my know, money. I, I even told her, I said, what you're looking for is a sugar daddy. You really, you know, really didn't, you weren't looking for something serious. You just wanted some guy to send you money. And that's the thing, guys. Look, 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 look. Sugar daddy. Once again, who likes to be called sugar daddies? The 50 to 60 to 7 year olds. Sugar daddy! Guys, stop trying to be daddies. Be men about it. Call it as it is. If a woman's asked for your money and you're willing to give them money, be like, I'm willing to give you money, but accept the fact that you're a prostitute. Tell it to me, girl. Tell me that you're one. Tell me you're a pok pok. Go ahead. I'll give you the money. Just admit that you're a pok pok. Just tell them that. At least you, you, there, there's an understanding that each side knows that that's what she is. And you know that's what she is. Make yourself feel better. When you can call her yourself a pok pok, go ahead and give her the money. Because then hopefully you can get some segs afterwards when you finally make it to the Philippines. How did you talk to her about it? I was devastated. I didn't expect to hear this news. Um... Uh, this was exchanged in, in chats and messenger, you know, and uh, sometimes we video chat, but this this particular conversation was a video chat or a, a messenger. And so it just it, it, it spun out of control. It was very, very hard, very difficult. Um, and then she would write me and say, well, I had another guy and he's nice. and da, 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 da. You know, then I found out, you know, like two weeks after uh, we broke up, okay. all of a sudden, She's got pictures all over her page with this boy and this policeman. And he's got <laughs> pictures all over his page with her. So there's no way that they started a relationship that close within two weeks. Of Guys, this is where closures happens. Once you break up, you break up. But now all of a sudden you're getting, getting upset. Oh, oh, because you finally broke up with her. And then all of a sudden there's a new dude. Right. I even I even knew this one guy who made me. I knew she, she's with another man while I'm gone. That's it is what it is. But when I get there, she's going to be mine. Really? So you're going to arrive in the Philippines, going to get some from your girl. You're going to try to be like, I'm going to get her pregnant. You know, you're probably swirling your 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 peen in her poon. And there's still some remnants from the du other dude's peen in there breaking up they they obviously had something going on long before you know and uh it's, okay it, you know, so so she a, told you about it you didn't find it out uh, by yourself she told you that no she i has found a, it out by myself guy. i found it out by myself okay and and then i mean she told me she told me she met somebody who's you know been supportive and been friendly and easy to talk to and understands her um but she never told me where he was or you know she just made it sound like some casual friend and then I see her, you know, with her arms around this guy and uh, uh, all this other stuff. So, yeah, and you know, the thing that bothers me most, it would bother any person, is I, I bought the house and the bed, and now she's sleeping in the bed with this guy that I bought. That's your problem. Now you're complaining? You bought the damn house. Aren't you supposed to be a smart dude or something like that? I mean, you're from Washington. But then, uh, but then again, you know, Seattle people and... Oregon people are just weird ass people right now. I'm just saying, man, because if you if you guys been seeing what's going on in the streets in in Seattle and Oregon, Portland, some crazy stuff. And oh, I paid for okay. Now let's talk to the guy, sir. His name is Patrolman. Oh, we got the guy. Tautuan. Patrolman Tautuan. Sir, good afternoon to you, Patrolman. Yes, sir. Good afternoon. Okay, good afternoon, sir. English? So the the guy on the other line, Mr. Perley Berkeley, can understand us. Is it okay, Mr. Patrolman? And if you cannot, I'll just translate to him. Tagalog. Okay. All right. Tagalog time. Uh, did you know that uh, your girlfriend now, Myrene Ralampago, is uh, is a girlfriend of uh, Perry Berkeley, and 
and your girlfriend's been asking money from him, and now the house and the bed that you guys are in was came from the money of uh, Mr. Berkeley. Yes, sir. How did you find out that uh, your girlfriend is a gold digger and he, she's been scamming uh, she Mr. Berkeley? She take the money! So, Ma Myrene uh, uh, passed the video? Oh, okay. Mr. Berkeley sent the video to Myrene. Ah, uh, so Mr. B so see now, now this dude sends a video to him, the 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 Mr. Berkeley guy from Washington, you know, sent a threatening video to the police officer. What for? It's not your house, bro. Yeah, it's your money. It's not your freaking house. It's the girl's house because you freely gave the money. It's her freaking house. She has every right to bring any dude in that house because your name's not on it. She's not your wife. It was just your turn. Berkeley sent a video to you. Okay. Okay. And? Then she her about Malibu. You knew beforehand that on not, my... See, he didn't translate it. He goes, Berkeley, the dude, was threatening the Mr. Police Officer here. Green is in a relationship with Mr. Berkeley. Right? And you know that all the money that she's been spending for you, that all these monies came from Mr. Berkeley. You know that, right? Yes, oh, yes, then you can be considered as an accomplice of uh, Myrene in uh, scamming Mr. Berkeley. You can be considered yes, as an accomplice if, if you ask me. Oh, okay. So, Mr. Berkeley, he, what she's saying is before he and... Uh, Myrene got into a relationship. He said Myrene told him that you guys already split. Is that right, Mr. Berkeley? Now it's just a matter of dates or whatever time, but listen up. Listen here, guys. Maybe this dude was in the friend zone. These are the things, guys, where you need to pay attention. If you're if you you know, if you find out your Pinaya has lots of dudes in her friend zone. Check out her Facebook page, her Instagram, her TikTok. Look at the comment sections. Do a quick browse. And if you see a lot of these guys that are simping on her, commenting, harding her stuff, a lot of guys still want that girl because it's the fact that other men want her. And sometimes you have some beta dudes who wants to feel alpha because he can say that he, out of all of the guys that wanted this girl, he got it. Okay, he got it. And that is a problem. You just want to be the person to say, I got it first. But the thing, though, is there's been other dudes that test drove that model before you did. And actually, other guys have been driving it while you think it's in your garage. I have no idea of the timing of when they dated. But exactly. Like I said, there's no way that... They became so close in such a short time. You know, usually when you break up from somebody two years, you're going to marry them. You talk children. You, you have a time period which you get over the breakup. No. Now, you know, you already knew that this girl was a cheater. You already knew that this girl freely gave her punani to the damn dean. You believed her that she changed. Why are you think that, you know, why? So right here alone, you know, she doesn't have any concept on what real relationship is. You just created this thing in your mind on how it works. And guys, pay attention to what he's doing here. When you are emasculated, the thing that he's doing here is he wants to all of a sudden think that he's going to get revenge by calling her out in public when he technically is more of a public figure and then he makes himself look even bad, even worse. Guys, this is why you need to understand when you break up, even if you feel, you know, you got scammed, if it was, you felt that, you know, you should have done it sooner, walk away, just walk away. Take the L, take the freaking L in your head. Just take the loss. Fight another day. Okay. You don't post photos two days, you know, a week later with a new guy. The picture you see of her was a Facebook page she created with a different name. She used an alias, Amanda Oi, and Oi! she 
was dating this guy and she cheated on him by sleeping with the college dean to get cheaper college. That's not cheating. That's her just trying to use her own, you know, body to to save some money. That's not cheating. Come on, guys, listen, listen. We we you know, guys talk all about it all the time. It's not cheating if we if it's a different area code, if it's a different zip code. It's not cheating if you're not married. All of these things, whatever. Yet for some reason, it applies to men, but it don't apply to women. If you ain't married to her, it's not she. It's not cheating. If she's not married to you, it's not cheating. It's weighing out the options. Except it has different results in the end. Oh, so she went to college. She went to college here in the Philippines she or in slept, abroad. She, she slept with the dean to get college. How did you know while that? While she was dating this. Because she, she told, told me, him and she told me she regretted it. She, she's changed. She'll never do it again. And unfortunately, once a cheater, always a cheater. Okay, so what guys, listen, listen. This is the the violin routine. Oh, I just had to give my punani up. Because it was rough life. It was so tough. I had to do this because it was very, very hard for me growing up. But now I am an overseas foreign worker in Kuwait. And I'm just looking for the right guy so that I don't have to experience these poor situations. Will you be my partner that's going to give me the money that I need so that I will no longer have to give my pussy away? Please help me, Mr. Partner. Oh, you're so special. No, I will never cheat on you. You know, we should buy ourselves a house. That's right. Let's go build a house so that when you arrive, we can lay in the bed and you can pack me all you want. That's right. Pack me in the bed. Pack me in the bathroom. Pack me in the shelves. Pack me in the stairs. Wherever you want to pack me, I will pack you back. My goodness gracious. Good Lord. Gentlemen, this happens continuously. Which school did she go to? Did I don't she know the you? name of the school. Maybe her boyfriend can tell you. Tall man. Sure. You should know where she you? went. You guys that, were about to get married. Uh, her girlfriend went to college and she went to bed to the dean with the dean so he can uh, she can get higher grades. He doesn't know it. That wasn't told to me by Myrene. This girl, Myrene, if Mr. Perry Berkeley is to be believed, this girl is a professional gold digger and scammer. And if I were you, I'll stay away from her. Really. Why? Why should he stay away from her? Okay. He's reaping the benefits. He's Pete Davidson to Kanye with Kim Kardashian. I'm just saying. All right. Why? He knows his position. He was the guy in the friend zone. He was the guy in the friend zone that told her, I, you know, I understand where you're from. If it's not going to work out, I'm right here, baby. Let me go ahead and slide the D up in there. I'm just saying. Just saying. Because you might get in trouble. You being a policeman. Baka pati yung chapa mo, sir, uh, madamay. Do you understand what I'm saying, sir? This girl is an embarrassment to our Filipino countrymen in the U.S. for what she did to Mr. Berkeley. And a scammer becoming the uh, girlfriend of a policeman. Isn't that odd? You should be careful, sir. I'm not saying that you are really in cahoots with this girl in scamming Mr. Berkeley. What I'm trying to tell you now is you have to be very careful because... This girl is a certified scammer as far as Mr. Berkeley is concerned. Do you certified love scammer. Well, freedom both. Hold on. Certified scammer. Yeah, well, you know what? And? I get it. I get it, right? She's a scammer. We, we can all agree to that. But and? And what? And what? I mean, guys. This dude knew her lifestyle, and he still chose to believe it. That's why some of you guys who's going for the single mothers, you think them telling you the story that the man left them, cheated on them, is the truth? 
Well, even, I'll even give the I'll even give those those single mothers a 50 50 percent chance. Let's just say 50 percent of the men that they were with were bad men. But the other 50 percent. These girls were crazy. It's funny how these some of these, especially these single mothers, think that all of a sudden they lower their their values. They lower their value of themselves yet then all of a sudden they get impregnated and they want you to clean it up why because you foreigners are fucking easy marks because you foreigners it's okay for you right it's okay because you do this in your country you partners, it's okay. And then guess what? It is the freaking truth because countless amount of freaking foreigners comes to the Philippines and goes for a bunch of single mothers worth. Let me say this again. Single, worthless mothers. Why am I saying that? It's less worth than what you're worth, yet you're lowering your values, you're lowering your worth, and you're going for these single mothers. Eighty percent of women, seventy to eighty percent of women, ends their relationship with men. They open up their legs for low value men. Allow the men to impregnate themselves. And then all of a sudden, because they want more, they let go of that man. And they, because they say, they saw a freaking TikTok video that you can find yourself a partner. Instead of this Filipino man who only gives you $400 a month because that's all he makes in a month. You can get yourself a partner that's going to give you $1,000, $2,000, $3,000. In this case, $10,000. To build the future house. Of the police money, she might be able to use your position, being a policeman, in scamming other people or That's Filipinos just, that, that, you here know, in the Philippines. I don't agree with that. Sir, That's overdoing it. If I were it's... you, on the money to Mr. Berkeley to sell the house. Ooh, we got the girl. Can you do that? That's the least that you can do to help my reign. Na para, eh, ma why would the guy now be responsible for that? This is this right here is dumb. I don't believe in this, Mr. Tufo. Respect, sir. But now you're telling the guy to help out. It's not his freaking job to help. He came along. This is the same exact stuff that it's not your job to take care of the damn kid of the woman that you're trying to get with. Hence, you should not take care of the sick of the of that child of that single mother. Okay. Maring yes, apo, patrolman, you're telling the truth. Okay, because I don't know you personally. You might be telling the truth. You might be, be you are being honest, probably, yes. to us. Yes, sir. Now, prove to us that you are really what you are, who you are, you're telling us now. Go ahead and sell that property. Yes, sir. And the money from that property, you... All right. I'm just going to stop it right here. You sell the property? No. It's over. Guys, listen, some of you guys may not agree with this one, but it's, it's not him to... It's he, she... Should not give back the money. He gave it to her freely. He said it himself because he created this mindset in his brain that this is a relationship. That for some reason, even if they haven't met yet, that this was going to be a true relationship. Guys, you mess up, you walk away. You just do. Okay? But guess what? It would not have been it, it would not have been this far or this craziness if you just did not freaking send the money. It's plain and simple. So, anyways, guys, if you want to see this video, the full thing, description is down below. Take a look at it. Rafi Tool for an auction. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining us here in this channel. If you guys don't mind, if you like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the content of this channel. And also, don't forget to enjoy one of our live or new videos coming on right here. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video or the next live session.